Well, good morning, everybody. I'm going to do some more air layering today. I got a keeper pair that I want to air layer. So I'm just going to get me some soil to work with, which will be just peat moss and I've run out of the pine bark mulch. And I have, I've got plenty of uh, just garden soil, but it has fertilizer in it, and I'd rather not use anything with fertilizer. So I'm just going to use this soil here. It doesn't have anything in it, but I like using that peat moss because it really helps hold the moisture in. Much. Looks like I've got One, two, three, three of these limbs that I'm going to try. And I would do this one, but well, first of all, the top looks pretty bad, but it's right in the way of this big one of getting my, my bag of soil around it. I think what I'm going to do, come right here, cut around.
this is the way I have always done my air layering. Um, I just recently did the video where I was doing the AirPods. I'm not going to put all my eggs into that one basket because uh, last year I did those and didn't have any success. this right here is is a method that I've done before and it has worked great You don't have to use aluminum foil. But this is the way I've always done it. And I'm just I'm just saying you don't have to. It don't make no sense why you would have to use aluminum foil. But like I said, this is the way I've done it before in the past. And it's it's worked great for me. Well, I think you can see how easy that is to do. And here in, you know, four to six weeks, I'll come out here and check it and I'll bring the camera with me and we will see exactly what we got put my cage around it to keep the deer off of it. <laughs> 